"'You seem to have forgotten that I took my doctorate at Sheffield University,' Pete said, as if that qualified him for the Northerner of the Decade Award. "'Never mind that,' I went on. "'The point is, Ned just happens to be that man's son.' "'and I pointed at the screen with a very exultant finger. "'Unfortunately, the man on camera just at that moment was the presenter. "'Pete turned to me with a look of awe. "'That boy is Brian Walden's son,' he said hoarsely. "'You're going out with Brian Walden's son?' "'It seems that Brian Walden, the presenter, used to be a Labour MP. "'For one moment Pete had this picture of me stepping out with socialist royalty.' I could see his brain rapidly trying to calculate the chances of his worming his way into Brian Walden's confidence, father-in-law to father-in-law, wangling a seat in the next election and progressing triumphantly from the dull grind of the inner London Education Authority to the thrill and glamour of the House of Commons and national fame. Peter Fenderman, maverick firebrand and hero of the workers, I watched the whole fantasy pass through his greedy eyes. Disgusting. "'Not him,' I said. "'Him!' "'Your father had appeared back on screen again, "'now striding towards the door of number ten "'with papers tucked under his arm. "'I love you, Ned. "'I love you more than the tides love the moon, "'more than Mickey loves Minnie and Pooh loves Honey. "'I love your big dark eyes and your sweet round bum. "'I love your mess of hair and your very red lips.' They are very red, in fact. I bet you didn't know that. Very few people have lips that really are red, in the way that poets write about red. Yours are the reddest red, a redder red than ever I read of, and I want them all over me right now. But, oh, no matter how red your lips, how round your bum, how big your eyes, it's you that I love. When I saw you standing there at table sixteen, smiling at me, it was as if you were entirely without a body at all. I had come out of the kitchen in a foul mood, and there, shining in front of me, I saw this soul, this Ned, this you, a naked soul, smiling at me like the sun, and I knew I would die if I didn't spend the rest of my life with it. But still, how I wished this afternoon that your father were a union leader, a teacher in a comprehensive school, the editor of the Morning Star, Brian Walden himself, anything but Charles Madstone, war hero, retired brigadier of the guards, ex-colonial administrator. Most of all, how I wish he was anything but a cabinet minister in a conservative government. That's not right, though, is it? You wouldn't be you, then, would you? When Pete and Hillary both got it, They stared from me to the screen and back again. Hilary even looked at the chair you sat in the day you came round, glared at the thing as if she wanted it disinfected and burned. Oh, Portia, she said in what they used to call tragic accents. Pete, of course, after going as red as Lenin, swallowed his rage and his baffled pride and began to talk to me, solemnly. He understood my adolescent revolt against everything I had been brought up to cherish and believe. No, more than that, he respected it. Do you know, in a kind of way, I'm proud of you, Porsche. Proud of that fighting spirit. You're pushing against authority, and isn't that what I've always taught you to do? What? I screeched. I have to be honest. There's no other word. It was definitely a screech. He spread his hands and raised his shoulders with an infernal smugness that will haunt me till the day I die. Okay, you've dated the upper-class twit of the year, and that's got your dad's attention. You've got Pete listening. Let's talk, yeah? I mean... I rose calmly, left the room, and went upstairs for a think. Well, that's what I should have done, but I didn't. "'In fact, I absolutely yelled at him. "'Fuck you, Pete. I hate you. You're pathetic. "'And you know what else? You're a snob. "'You're a hideous, contemptible snob.' "'Then I stamped out of the room, slammed the door, "'and ran upstairs for a cry. "'The President of the Immortals, in Iskalian phrase, "'had finished his sport with Portia.' 